Hi. Okay, so when you work with the Cyfinity CMS uh, in your project, and maybe uh, the default modules and components provided by Cyfinity uh, do not fit your expectation, so you have to build the custom uh, custom module builder, custom module for your purpose. And okay, so in this video today, I would like to show you how to use the uh, module builder uh, in the Cyfinity to have you create the custom module. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so this one is a dashboard pet of the Cyfinity backend. You go ahead to click on the animation here. You select the module builder, module builder under the tools. Yes, and go ahead to click on create a menu. I will name it either FAQ. You are able to create multiple content type for FAQ modules. Okay, so I go ahead to create. Okay, so click on the finish button to finish the creation for your content type. Click on active this module. Okay, so you can see here, for now the FAQ module has been activated. The module contains the FAQ as this one is the content type. And we are able to add multiple content type for this module. Okay, so for now I will just keep only one more content type. And after that, when we finish the demo for the first content type, I will go back to work on another new. Okay, so this is activated already click on the Cyfinity module content yeah so basically after you after you uh, created the, the, the con content the module, module builder so it should be displayed under the content session here but for now it didn't display here okay so because for now I'm using the multiple side on on this intern, intern of Cyfinity CMS so after you finish uh, the curation for the module builder, it, it does not display here. So you have to go to the, so the manage side and select the uh, module display on specific side. Okay, click on the Cyfinity demo here, go to the manage side. Yeah. Action, configure modules. You select the FAQ, save change. Yes, and for now it should be this way here. Okay, you can see under the content we have FAQ module has been added into the uh, drop down menus. Click on this. And create new the content.
Okay, so we have just created two Q&A on under the FAQ modules. Okay, go to the pages. Okay, so for example, we have introduction here. I open it and in the edit mode, so I will display the FAQ on it. You scroll down here. Yeah. When you scroll down to the widget section, you can see we have FAQ session has been added here. We have FAQ and FAQ S in the MVC mode and also the web form. I will use the MVC. Okay, okay. Save it. Publish. View. Yeah. So you can see now the FAQ had been displayed on this uh, interaction bed. You click on the link to go to view the detail of the, the, the question. Okay, it looks like the same thing with uh, when you view in the news module in the uh, site for DC map. You are able to enter the comment here. Okay, we have just finished the demonstration for the content builder module with only one instance of the uh, content type for the module. So now come back to the module builder. Open this one. I go ahead to create a, one more uh, content type. You are able to enter another content type with uh, it, will, it will look different with the FAQ content type previously. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create another thing here. Okay. Finish button. Okay, so you can see for now under the FAQ modules we have two content type. The first one is FAQ S and the second one is FAQ 2S. Okay, come back to the basis. Under the content, yeah, you can see we have the FAQ add and FAQ to add module. As uh, uh, sorry, uh, we have two content type under the FAQ modules. Click on the FAQ S. Yeah. There is a content type, the first content type we had, we have created and go to the second content type. It's blank for now, should be blank because we have just created it. Okay, great.
Okay, so now when you come back to the basics, uh, introduction. You can go to the FAQ here. You can see for now we have two instances of FAQ, FAQ AS and FAQ 2S. Okay, so now go ahead to use the FAQ 2S. It should be literally the content uh, Q&A of the, the, the second instance of content type. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to work with the module, module builder in the Sifinity CMS. Okay, so basically, when you're working with the Sifinity CMS and the current mod the default modules of the Sifinity is done not support uh, fit the expectation, so you should create some custom modules by using the module builder in the Sifinity. Okay, so when you create an, a new module, you are able to create multiple content type uh, in that module. So follow this video, it will have fun for you. Okay, so bye bye and see you later. Let me know if you see any issue.